I asked Coach Stoops what a healthy C.J. Conrad and a healthy Dorian Baker can mean to this ball club. Your thoughts? Um, I think it means a lot. I think both of us do a lot for this, not just this offense, but this team. Um, guys, uh, uh, we're both seniors now, um, seeing the program from the beginning now to where it's at now. Um, and, you know, guys that are going to fight for this team, I think Dorian, you haven't seen him play in a really long time, but that's a guy that caught 60 passes a little less than two years ago. Um, so he's an extremely talented guy that we're excited to have back. Um, myself, personally, I'm just really trying to take a huge leadership role in this team right now. Um, played all three years now. Um, I've seen it from the beginning to now. I'm um, just trying to build that winning culture. I've seen how close we've been in the past uh, to you know winning more football games, and uh, I plan on doing that this year for us. If you'll raise your hand, we'll get a microphone to you for any other questions. We'll go right back here. You talked about winning. This team is back to back seven and five regular seasons that easily could be nine and three, yep. ten and two. What is the element you have to find as a team to get over that hump? Uh, I think it's about a winning culture. Um, we've had games in the past that we've won that we probably shouldn't have won, and we've had some games in the past where we've lost where you know we probably should have won. You know, everyone's looking for that perfect uh, ingredient to do it, but I think ultimately right now what we're doing in the summer is all we can do is working extremely hard finding leaders on this team that's going to step up in big moments, and we have to make the plays um, in order to do that. Um, it's just the small things that Coach Stoops preaches all the time, um, just little things that add up in big moments. Um, they may not be the, the headline of the game of why we lost, but there's a lot of things that go into every single game, and uh, we got to take care of those things to give ourselves a chance. We'll go to the camera platform back here, far left. Right here. Uh, actually, it, it was funny because your coach was in here right after Benny, just, just a few spots ago. And yeah. he caught Benny in the act of saying that he sometimes doesn't take the big hit and chooses to go out of bounds, which coach had the snicker at because he's trying to get maybe Benny to play a little bit smarter. Mm -hmm. Have you been around a guy that I guess, th there's a term that is he's at 110 miles per hour all the time, and, like just going and going? Yeah. That seems to personify Benny. For sure. Um, Blocking for Benny Snell the last two years has been truly a blessing. Um, he runs extremely hard, um, not just on Saturdays. He's like that in practice all the time. He's trying to get in fights with our defense on every single practice, it feels like, just because he runs so physical and so mean. And those guys aren't allowed to tackle us during practice, so they get mad about that. But uh, he's a extremely emotional guy, hard worker. Um, that's what I kind of like about him is he's not one of those guys that uh, – We'll have like one carry or like two carries for 150 yards. Like his, like he kind of demoralizes opponents. Like, and I love that is like being a part of the offensive line, being a tight end is like, you know, he runs for eight yards, five yards, 13, two yards. Like it's just a long drive. And like to do that to a, a defense is demoralizing. And I've seen it happen on multiple occasions and just how hard he runs. He runs, he gets back up. He doesn't even ask for any of the offensive lines or tight ends hands to, Get, help him pick him up. He gets up on his own and he goes back to work. We'll go back here to the right on the camera platform. You mentioned the offensive line. How good are they? They never rarely get mentioned. Uh, mm -hmm. Drake came on late uh, when he finally got his opportunity. Yeah, for sure. I think when we uh, put Drake in the lineup, he just was you know more consistent with his snaps. If you remember early in the season last year, we had some uh, snapping issues, but that whole uh, Group came together really, really good last year. We have Bunchy Stallings back, uh, Logan Stenberg, George Asafo, Jay, uh, Landon Young. Those guys are just big, mean, physical guys. And they, I think just playing in the SEC over these last two years, the biggest thing I've learned is it, it happens in the trenches. It, everything inside is super important. And I think our coaching staff did a really good job of letting our offensive line know that and our tight ends. Um, and we work together as a cohesive group, and, and it's been awesome the last two years. Uh, we're just trying to – be consistent as possible. Now, you know, we have some guys returning, um, just overall with our communication, just being on the same page 24 seven. But those guys are mean dudes and they're gonna get some attention this year because they're very talented. All right, any questions for CJ? Raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. We got one more, we'll go back right. <laughs> My man. <laughs> you mentioned winning culture and you have seen this team for three years, as you mentioned earlier, the woulda, coulda, shoulda games. Correct. What is the culture right now for Kentucky football compared to what it was when you got here? It's much different than what it was when I got there. Um, 
I can see guys starting to mature and grow up. When Coach Deuce uh, first got on campus, we were playing freshmen and sophomores all over the place. And now we've got some juniors and seniors, just guys all around who have done it uh, you know, at a, you know, a big time level. Uh, now it's just preaching consistency. And just in, I, for the first time, like we have a ton of guys who, you know, the, the light clicked on in their head. I can just see it. I think, you know, they see that this is their last season, their last chance to do something. They've seen guys in the past be kind of disappointed in how their senior years fall out. I'm extremely excited about our senior leadership this year and how many, how many people have grown up. I think it's going to show for, for us this year, definitely. Are you also surprised that as you beat Tennessee, you've beaten Carolina four years in a row, you hang with Florida two out of the last three years, Kentucky still picked next to last in the SEC East? Yeah. Um, obviously, that should be definitely motivating for us. We have a chip on our shoulder, but um, we know that uh, it's not going to come easy at all. I mean, obviously, people are going to pick against us, and that's okay because they're thinking of the old Kentucky football. But this is – we have a – you know, this is a new team this year, and uh, – you know, I'm proud to say that I'm going to be, you know, a leader on this team this year because we got a bunch of super talented guys that are ready to compete and uh, try to win the SEC East.